human reproductive system the human reproductive system includes the male reproductive system which functions to produce and deposit sperm and the female reproductive system which functions to produce egg cells and to protect and nourish the fetus until birth human reproduction usually involves internal fertilization by sexual intercourse in this process male inserts his penis into female's vagina and ejaculates semen which contain sperm male reproductive system the human male reproductive system consists of a number of sex organs that are part of the human reproductive process in the case of men these sex organs are located outside the men's body around the pelvic region penis the penis has a long shaft and enlarged tip called the glans penis the male penis is made of two different tissues and soft spongy tissues testicles the testes hang out the abdominal cavity of the male within the scrotum they begin their development in the abdominal cavity but they descend into the scrotal sac during the last two months of fetal development this is required for the production of sperm because internal body temperature are too high to produce viable sperm epididymis the epididymis is a whitish mass of tightly coiled tubes curved against the testicles it it acts as a storage place for sperm before they enter the vesa differentia vesa differentia is a tube that carries sperm from the testis to the urethra female reproductive system female reproductive system contains vagina cervix uterus oviducts ovaries vagina the vagina is the place where semen from the male is deposited into the female's body at the climax of sexual intercourse commonly known as ejaculation around the vagina pubic hair protects the vagina from infection and it's a sign of puberty cervix the cervix is the lower narrow portion of the uterus where it joins with the top end of the vagina it is cylindrical or conical in shape and protrudes through the upper anterior vaginal wall uterus the uterus or womb is the major female reproductive organ of human one end the cervix open into the vagina the other is concerned on the both side of the fallopian tubes the uterus is a pear shaped muscular organ it its major function is to accept a fertilized ovum which become implanted into the endometrium and and drives nourishment from blood vessels which develop exclusively for this purpose the fertilized ovum become an embryo developed into a fetus and gestated until child birth oviducts fallopian tube or oviducts are two very fine tubes leading from the ovaries of female into the uterus on maturity of an ovum the follicle and the ovaries wall rupture allowing the ovum to escape and enter the fallopian tube there it is travel throughout the uterus pushed along by movement of cilia and the inner lining of the tubes this trip take hours or days if the ovum is fertilized while in the fallopian tube then it normally implant in the endometrium ovaries the ovaries are the place inside the female body where ova or eggs are produced the process by which the ovum is released is called ovulation the speed of ovulation is periodic and impact directly to the length of menstrual cycle after ovulation the ovum is captured by the oviduct after traveling down the oviduct to the uterus occasionally being fertilized on its way by an upcoming sperm leading to pregnancy and the eventual birth of new human beings